Is my microphone... Yeah, it seems to be working. Okay. Let's switch over to my desktop. Yeah. And I probably should put some music on. Uh, I'll put this on. This is some CC BY music. Which means I'll have to put up that. So let's see if this is going to work. I think my audio levels are completely messed up or not working at all. Do output devices. No. Okay, OBS, why aren't you? Uh, I, gu I guess I started OBS like before. Before I started Pulse? No, that's not right. Why isn't this working? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm like really flustered at the moment. Is that it? Is that how I fix it? Oh my god. Okay. That's... that's fixed. This is fixed. Okay. So... Oh, I haven't fixed my stream title. That's what I was gonna do. Because we won't be dungeon crawling today, we will be doing nerd stuff. Um, nerd stuff as in DOS stuff. And I don't want people to come here thinking that there's going to be cool dungeon crawling when there's not. That would be a disappointment. Um, while I'm doing that, might as well open up some DOSBox stuff. DOSBox. Yes, here we go. I've got a shell script to start DOS box. I'm gonna edit the title. I don't know what my previous title was for my Twitch bot stuff. I know there's like one person in watching my stream right now, but of those one people, do any of you know how to set up a watchdog in DOS? Just curious. Programming a DOS Twitch bot category. They don't have a, like a, they don't have the programming category anymore, do they? They have the uh, science and technology. Select tags programming. Okay, there we go. That's fine. My stream is set up. Dear God, I was ready like 10 minutes ago, but then my power cut out, and then I suddenly had to set everything up because Hatnix is like, I'm done streaming. It's gonna be good. Okay, this didn't load up, did it? That's not a good sign. Move on to... Commander Keen's pretty cool. I say that because I've only seen it, I haven't actually played it. Oh my god, this music is actually... I'm just gonna mute it on my end. Can I do that without affecting OBS? No. Can I change the volume without affecting OBS? Yes, there. So now I don't have to hear it. <laughs> Sensory overload. Okay. 
So I'm running Dustbox X, which isn't real dust, but it's close enough. And today I'm going to have it connect to an IRC server. And I already have one running. Uh, I have it set up in hex chat here. I have a local one running so I don't have to mess with Twitch's servers and get banned for spamming it. Also, accidentally I showed my Twitch key on like last stream, so I had to delete that, so it's all out of date. But that's okay. Let's see. Just connect to this. Connection refused. Oh, that's right. I haven't got the uh, proxy set up. Server. Oh, another DOS box started off. That's nice, but not wanted. And that's still failing to set up. That should be working, yet it is not. Yeah. It's pretty interesting because it's not. Oh, it's working now. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to connect to Twitch. No. No, I can't connect to Twitch. There. Yes, it used to be the OS. Uh, it's a very interesting OS from a programming perspective. You get to uh, do a lot of low level interesting things. And. Uh, oh. Oh no. I didn't start up the uh, internet thing for DOS yet. I have like the weird Unix habit of just opening a ton of stuff and then just leaving my computer on for months and then just not knowing what to do and where I was when I uh, have to reboot it. So I, I don't think Windows users do that, I think they like turn their computer off sometimes. Why? I don't know what turning your computer off does. I guess it helps Windows. Okay, are you going to run? Okay, yeah, I need to uh, accept the guest system. quotes in DOS. Okay, that's uh, not, a, not a problem at all. I will just open that back up and pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so I think we're back to where I was before. I have internet. I have a local server for IRC to connect to and play with. A TLS interceptor, so I can mimic actually connecting to Twitch. That should have internet. Doesn't seem to be having internet at the moment. Do I have internet in this? Whoa! Hang on a second. too quick. Hang on a second. That's suspiciously quick and I'll have to check the uh, report later. Internet is good. Connecting DOS to the internet doesn't seem like the best idea. I updated Slurp again. That's what happened. Okay, we'll reinstall Slurp. I had to patch Slurp in order for it to work. Uh, let me 
me just check something. Let's go to the OBS thing. And then I'm just going to What, curl is not installed? Okay. I'm just checking internet -y things, because I think I didn't save my firewall configuration, which affects the VM I'm using. I hope not. This stream is going fine. All of this is fine. Okay, that's fine. So let's just try that again. I have to restart DOSBox. I should probably send the patch I made back to Debian since it unbreaks the package. But there bug report system is really weird. Okay, let's run this again. And we're going to run DOSBox again. And then all will be fine. And then I'll have to compile something that will connect to the internet. Hopefully by the end of this stream, which should be only be a few hours, I'll have it connecting to um, an IRC server. Okay, so the internet now works in DOS. That's good. Yeah, I don't want it. So, next thing we need to do is go to C drive, um, find the compiler I'm going to use. So there's OpenWatcom that comes with FreeDOS, and there's OpenWatcom 2. Uh, what did I put in my, in my configuration? Yeah, I didn't put anything interesting in it. Okay, so we're actually going to grab the source code for um, MTCP, I think. So let's go to the Firefoxes for that. Jeez, I hope my stream isn't literally dying. They freed us. Nice. So we need the source code from FreeDOS for MTCP so we can use the example programs. And that should be fine. And they hide it in repositories for some reason. I don't know why. MTCP. Grab that zip file because people use zip still. Zip files bother me way too much. They probably shouldn't, but they do. It's like an ill-defined standard at this point. But at the same time, tarballs aren't that good either. OK. 
Okay, let's grab source, MTCP, and drag that into our... Let's not even name that source, let's name that dev. And we're gonna grab that and shove it there. Please. Okay, let's cd dev mtcp. Okay, so how did I full screen this before? Is this how? Did I just f12 plus f? No, okay, so I guess I'm not full screening it. Okay, so it's time to open up V. And that seems fine enough. I don't want the mouse. Okay, V, you don't look like you're going to be friendly to me. Oh yeah? Did you do any... You did basic on DOS, didn't you? Did you do any of uh, the C stuff? So let's see, let's go to apps. Uh, we're gonna go to HTTPS. And we're gonna make this. After I... Source, C drive, devl open whatcom on Windows Windows is pretty cool <coughs> oh is this oh oh no argument is too big yeah that does look a bit too big Let's just try using Talnet or something. Maybe it'll work better for a quick sanity check. Copyright 9... Uh, 2002. It bothers me a bit that Whatcom is using... Do uh, why you gotta be like that? Okay, what if I just try using Open Whatcom 2? Let's try that. I also pro should probably shut down my Windows virtual machine if it's going to eat my CPU. Okay, I guess I'll be de debugging make files today. Yay. Okay. Cannot execute that argument is too big. Well, that's probably because you're doing a whole bunch of arguments to it. Don't do that. Alright. Elvis make file. Okay. Look at all these optimizations it's pulling. Isn't that great? I don't want those. Stop trying to turn this into a clown car of optimizations. Uh, let's just delete that and replace it with. Oh my god, this is killing my CPU. Seems fine. I'll allow it. Okay, so it's all the O stuff, I guess. And let's W make that. And that should be W fine. Uh, I guess now I have to reply to a GitHub thing while this is trying to compile because I sent a bug report to Vim telling them that their documentation 
inadvertently writes N-word. So, hopefully that's going to fly well. I mean... Okay, so this is killing me inside already with having to pull up a compiler every time. There's no lurk here. Have fun. Okay, so it looks like compiling is just going to be like that. One of the great challenges of life. Okay. Nah, -uh. we we not doing this. <coughs> Let's find the Whatcom reference manual and see if there's a way to shove all this into a single object file. So, when I do write my MTCP code, I can put it in a single file and compile just that, and then link that with assembly. Documentation. Compiling these things to okay, let's see. <coughs> uh. Is it in this file? No. Done compiling what com? No. Oh, yeah, kind of. Seems like you're in your last compile. Dear God.
WPP WPP Y modem C. I don't know why you're doing Y modem. Oh. <coughs> okay. We have the compilers. Sweet. Libraries. Sick. Assembler. Yeah, I guess so. Um, linker. Linker. Page 207. <coughs> no, I don't want inline assembler. I would never want that. What are you? How dare you? Oh, I'm so angry at documentation. God, how many pages is this off by? Okay. The linker. You done? Okay, let's see. Uh, just look at what we have here. real quick. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of objects. We have dot map, I think that's compiled to keys global. Alright. So obviously there's a bunch of stuff here, but let's just uh, Okay fine, I'll use your V what call. recipes. I'll use that phone as a paperweight. Why not? <coughs> In this phone you have to call a shutdown routine to exit because we have the timer interrupt. What are we using the timer interrupt for? down here. 
Okay, so this obviously splits. So that's if waiting for a connection. So we don't need that code. Just quickly switch music to hinterland. Let's recover that and change that to into land. CC by. Let's see how this goes. Is that sharp okay in OBS? Yup. We got this. Hmm. It's a bit loud, I'll turn that down. Okay, so let's just see. What does file read buffer do? What do we use that for? Are we reading files? Okay, I probably don't need that when I'm running my code then. This is num blocking, need to wait. Control break detected. DNS errors, just check afterwards. What? What is that? So you resolve the server. start sending and just driving packets like that if we're just going to get the connection <coughs> okay this seems a bit like hell maybe it's doing it for the DNS there are a lot of questions here. And how is it doing control break? Control break handler. Control break handler. Okay. So you check that once in a while. So where is that being used? Okay, save the old control hard break now for one B. Alright, so that must be an interrupt. And there's the control C handler, which is 23. And so shutdown is something in this code.
shut down. Ah, uh, okay. What's end stack? Alright. So that gives me kind of an overview of how that works. Let's check out DNS tests since that's not interruptive. Interactive. We might use this instead because it seems a bit smaller. Okay, so it supports a timeout, that's good. How is it doing the timeout? Time and get current. And that's the main loop there, BIOS key. Packet process single. <coughs> yeah, it makes sense because we have to drive those as well. And then if the user hasn't quit. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you need to drive the packets used by the DNS resolver. I see. That makes sense. You have to drive the packets after sending a DNS request so that the DNS module can use them. Okay. So once it's done with the DNS query, it actually shows you the resolution from the cache. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll probably be using the DNS thing here as a base. So let's just go back and let's do WMake here just to see if it's going to make everything or it's going to use a cached TCP lib stuff. Because I don't think it's going to. Oh, it seems like it's go it's using all the TCP lib stuff. Can we cancel that out? No? Okay, well, we'll just go back here and... Oh, WASM. Okay, so that shows us how we can combine stuff. If we're building everything into one file, then it would make sense to just have our stuff be a single assembly function with a C wrapper around it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And if we do DNS test.exe google.com, um, how do I quickly hide you? F3 view, no, I don't want to view your page. Tools, no, file, panel A, yes, control H, I want to use control H or control Z, no wait, I think that deleted something, that's not good. Okay, uh, DNS test, .exe, name, google.com, okay, that's good. Why are we in the goodies directory now? What did I do there? I don't know what was up with that. Okay. Oh, I see. It's pulling all the library objects here. So does that mean we can't do static libraries in OpenWatcom? Dev docs. I have to read that. TCP in. What's this? Let's just view this. Oh, that mouse, you are annoying me. Um, let's 
see. TCP lib. Yep. Use the docs. I'm not interested. Patch. Alright, let's read the readme. Okay, so what is the stack? <coughs> oh, so it's not a literal stack. The timer tick interrupt is causing some MTCP code to run. Interesting. What code would that be? Packet drivers calling MTCP for each new packet or types. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, hook the time interrupt. Uh. That's not good. Um, I'll have to have a way to gracefully handle crashing. Uh, DOS tech, yep. the small memory model because I'd be interested in doing that I have to check the actual memory use at runtime too overhead. Where that came from, release time slice. Dos idle. Building.
Dust test. Wait. Dust test dot txt. Oh, dust tech. I'll have to have a look at that again later. Okay. Okay, coding. Okay, that makes sense. Apps. Okay, include. I don't think we need that include there. Apps. So let's just pull out Netcat. To uh, C drive dev. Add kernel file name. All right, so we're in there anyway. Let's see, let's copy that to C drive. configuration. Oh, that's a C file. Okay. So let's uh, you know just delete that. Uh, uh, yeah, delete all. And we can just copy that, yep. Copy that, yep. Oh, I can just run make files like that? That's interesting. Huh. Oh, and I just hit it again. That's also interesting. Nice. That's a happy accident. Let's rename this to bot 
Dr. Pig. Uh, and uh, but got a CVP. Um, can I just set up uh, DOS zip to use uh, Elvis? Editor options. No. Um, tools. Add tool. Edit. Oh, so I can set edit equals Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Okay, set edit equals Elvis. Um, I don't know what that noise was in my backyard, but hopefully no one's dead. Does that open up Elvis? No, it doesn't. So that might be a full path. I don't F4 fed it. No. Okay, whatever. Um, let's edit the main file. I'm not too interested in any of these. Uh, so let's delete all this junk. Um, TCP HDR. So let's make a uh, uh, MTC base equals C drive dev MTCP, I think. Um, well, can I quickly just drop to a shell? Uh, dev MTCP. Okay. Um, TCP H directory equals uh, I don't know what I just did there. Alright. Oops. music is great. I'm going to definitely buy it when I'm done. I didn't even know these, uh, this group had put out another album. That's how behind on it I am. Oh, okay. OTS. All right. Um, no thanks. I'm good. I don't want any of that. This is probably a good time to look into what compile objects we have, but let's just Delete that. Um, whoops. Yep. TCP obj. TCP C directory. Okay, so let's just. Did I ask for UDP? I don't think I did. Uh, I could probably not compile those. Packet R ETH. Do I need ETH? IP TCP socket utils. I'll just leave that for now and let's look at the compiler options. So, what page was that? Compile options, page 7. So seven plus please I want the options. Okay, I think we're getting to it. No, definitely not. Compile options. Okay, so that page is useless. It didn't describe anything. Um, table of contents, assembler, compiler. 
Oh, that's the link, huh? I'll have to look at that in a bit. Um, let's just look at command line examples. I think it would be page nine, so let's search up command line format. Okay, WCC, we're gonna want WPP. WPP, yep. Um, okay, and that's got the W link there. So we'll change that to bot, and we'll have another look back here. File spec, options, extra ops. Okay, I want to know the options though. I think it's in section, so there's no reference here. Optimizations. Okay. Department diagnostics. Do I want warnings on? Let's go for warnings. And I'll remove all the those. I don't know why I'm holding backspace. I should probably just use actual Vim shortcuts. Let's set up to warning level three. Um, let's see. This is not being kind to me. Oh, here we go. Options, I think. MS. Sets memory small. So let's try that. I don't need the model be a separate variable for that. Uh, what's that zero? Open up what com compile arguments. You know what? That's not helpful. Does this have anything? Okay. This could be useful. Compiler options summarized alphabetically. Huh? This is exactly what I wanted and nothing less. Option zero. Okay. Yep. So that's the instructions generated. Uh, I don't need build targets. I want debugging information, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, D3S. So let's throw some debugging stuff in there as well. Set calling convention. I'll have to do that later. stuff here.
MS equals. Operate quietly. You know what? I want quiet. I think. I don't. Right. Stop warnings, probably. Um. Generate calls for growth stack. Uh, output functional set warning levels. Uh, treat all warnings as errors. No. Oh, WX. I probably want that instead of W3. Uh, XD. They do not want to remove stack overflow stuff. Type information, no. And then we want to look for the quiet. So I want ZQ, definitely. Invalid redraw? No, I want... Insert Z, okay. Common H directory, right. Okay, let's try making this. Cannot execute, delete, not enough memory. All right, that's fair. Um, let's just close out of that. Let's exit DOS zip as well. Um, and let's open up B. too big. Oops. Hey, uh. No, quit. W make. Did we do it? Unable to open nc.configuration. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, v make file. So I think I still am using nc.config. Yes. I'll just change that to mtcp.config. Move bot.config, mtcp.config. Let's w make this, huh? Integral variable may be truncated. 
That's not good. But we'll ignore that. We'll let that slide just this once. Too many errors. Okay. Data admitted with no segment. So does this have to be multi-segment then? Um, what was segment tiny? wanted to use tiny. I think small seems to be the same as tiny. Yeah, that's what I'm using. So I guess IP isn't Did it start over? That's no good. I guess it's because I have the delete thing at the top. I'll have to move that back down. things. Uh, and then I hope that just make would do this. Okay. So IP assembly doesn't uh, declare the model. Let's just see that again. Line 69. Gotcha. code okay so that doesn't specify the memory model hmm what have I done here is this because the assembly specified a memory model in the make file and I've changed that by inlining it because that would be my first guess yep uh, okay so let's set let's fix that back memory model equals ms and let's just change word uh wait no i want to do that memory model equals ms 
and then we want to change to the space and we want to change that to a memory model okay and let's try w make in this again crack open a w make with the boys nc.obj okay I can see let's just search up nc no no yeah bot.obj so let's see Size of segment text exceeds 64k by 1030 bytes. Size of group auto exceeds 64k. Hmm. So let's remove some of the debugging strings then. Um, D3S. I'd have to clean it. Um, make clean and then W make. And then I just have to check the linker. Oh, we've run out of music again. That's okay. Um, let's head on over to a quiet tower in the heart of millions, which looks pretty good. Okay, let's find the page for W-Link. Am I in the W-Link section? Okay, we are. Okay, so W link, I want to do com. I might want to tear out EDP to see if that helps the size. Linker directives and options. All right, yeah. Wink file obj. Gotcha. Uh, alias. Now nah, it's good. Cache. Cache. Okay. Comment. CV pack debug. Am I looking in the wrong file for this? Maybe I need to be looking in the C guide for W link. Oh no, I just passed the uh, things on the command line. Gotcha. Let's see how this goes.
Is that you, Fly? Oh, dear God. It worked! So, we have a DOS executable. How many bytes you be? 61 kilobytes! Oof! 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 Okay. Um, still, that's like three kilobytes we have for stuff, I guess. Alright, so let's edit the make file again. System DOS, option map, option stack, name, at file, yeah, it looks about right. Can I set that to system com? I don't want a DOS file, I want a com file. .exe slash dot com. Uh, make bot dot com, please. Oh. Segment relocation. I don't know what that means, but that sounds like bad. Com. Relocation. Okay, um, so there's a sim file, segment relocation, so what is segment relocation and why are you complaining about it? Let's try bot.exe. Um, target. Uh, what's a website that support, supports HTTP? Never SSL. And what's the uh, DNS for that? 99.86. Can I just use No, I can't use the DNS. Can I? 80. Oh, right. Um, C drive F. CD, TCP, oops, bot, um, bot, bot.exe, exe, um, target, never fsl.com, 80. Found creating buffers, alright, that's fair. Nine nine point eighty six point two eleven point eighty four. All right, and the com files doesn't work either. And I crash DOSBox. CD dev bot. Oops. Uh, it's just dev bot dot com. Bot dot com.
segment relocation. How do I find those? I think this might be an inline thing. relocation hmm. okay so let's ignore that for now and just go with what memory models do we have uh, MS, dash MS. I think it was model compact. Compact. Memory model. You want to use a different data model, I think, if the buffers aren't allocating. I don't want a flat memory model. Okay. Please just give me an explanation. Okay. 16 bit memory models. Oops. Small code model, big code model. Okay, I want small code. Small data. Small code, small data. How about I do optimizations for size, huh? That might help. Tiny. Okay, let's head back to here and look 
optimizations. Look, the stop deck gets the size down. Is that it? There's just like an O option I can do with a number. Okay, O Z. OS. Let's try OS. Try our way. Okay, and we'll just go down here and we're going to change that to DOS. Option map stack equals 497. So slow DOS box. Uh, we make clean. Let's see. 
Delete that. Jeez, you suck. I don't need UDP. Oh no, I do need that for DNS. Okay. Bot.exe. Uh, let's just head back to the W link page. Um, w link system. W link system. Okay, so that seems reasonable. Let's see if this makes the size any smaller and runs. Argument list too big. Hmm. Let's just go back and copy MTCP, TCP lib. No. Mm. I'm gonna use DOS zip for this because I just messed it up a little bit too much. And we're gonna make make there. copy the TCP lib stuff across because we might end up modifying it anyway. F7 make directory TCP lib and let's just copy that and that was not what I wanted. So let's try that again. Copy But and copy that to bot. Okay, and then F8 to delete that. Yep, delete all. Uh, all right, let's try and get that fixed up. See if that works. 
I might have to put the command line arguments in a file. Or not. That looks like it's actually working. Okay. Let me just check my window because I thought I saw a fly there earlier and I hate flies and I just want them out of my life. Yeah. So I'm just going to wait for this to compile and mute myself. Okay, back. How you doing, Whatcom? Integral value may be truncated. It's not a good sign, is it? I have a feeling that I'm going to be facing a few DOSBox compiles now and then, like this. And I'm not sure how long they're going to take. We shall see. not oh here we go so is this gonna be a better size
Okay, let's see. How big is that? I've got a map file so I can... Oh no, it shows. So, bot.exe. Six eight five hundred. Hmm. Um, okay. So I have D group. Okay, that just kind of confuses me. So we're just going to ignore it, like all things. to create buffers. Okay, so I just don't have enough memory with the 64k size. Okay, so let's just change that to memory compact then. And then we're gonna make clean uh, bot.exe. Also look at the bot TCP source code to see if it's any smaller. But it really makes you think about TCP IP, doesn't it? Search up compact.
Dosseg Linka. What is a DOS exe file? I don't know why that opened a separate window, we'll see. I want the small memory model. Wait, I did, it had, it was said it's was it set compact before? I wonder if I should be cross compiling this. be able to develop it in DOS. I 
I don't know why I put G there. Okay, so it looks like it just wants to be used with uh, far pointers. <sighs> okay then, I guess. Size of segment text exceeds 64k. Why? Is that because of the optimization? I hope not, but okay, let's just disable the optimization. Actually, let's just hold on a second. Let's just quickly see what the actual Mem MC, memory compact. Okay, that's where I messed up then. By adding OE. Gotcha. read some of the documentation. Oops. Dev dogs. DOS tech. Compact or large, okay.
Yep, okay. It's also like grab around a little bit. Jesus Christo. Let's check packet. No macros there. Ring buff. That might be in utils. Can I have sleep pull set? I should probably check the, the uh, bots configuration too. took out the DNS. What's a DOS idle call? Oh, I see.
Swiss V packet. I see. How are we doing over here? Is it time for it to compile? Okay, compiled. Let's try bot.exe. Not access packet driver. Huh? it off and try for that the DOS box. Okay, so probably should throw the debug stuff back into and then we can start doing development.
was it D3? do d3i and I want to put it in a separate uh, symbol file Simba. symbols system DOS. Okay, let me try and open up. Wow, oh, I had open before. Here we go. I think. Options, stack, sort, show dead. option. No, I'm good. Let's see, OS name, DOS seg, order, sim, match case. Hopefully that'll work, okay. Shove some debug stuff in there. Uh, I don't know. Sim file. You know what? We're using Xe, so it shouldn't really matter anyway. It just blowed up the executable a little bit. So that's 75 kilobytes. Um, clean it. W, what if I strip it? Strip bot.exe. Oh. Uh, I would like to also see the memory map. Must be a pretty big file. Oops. Oh, I can drag stuff around, or is it like following my cursor? I don't know. Oh, so it's just doing the memory map. So groups, segments. Yeah, okay. And fly 
finally, we're going to do um, wmake clean bot.exe one last time and then try the debugger. Hang on. Oh, no, that's got D3i. Good. Okay, let's switch music tracks. Let's try enemy A. Oh, okay. GOP glory hole, sharpen your wit and impeach the motherfucker. Who was this made? Oh, Recently, that's pretty cool. Oh, a quiet tower in the hearts of millions was made like released pretty recently. Size of segment text. Okay, so I do need a sim file. Gotcha. Sim file. Size of segment text exceeds 64k, and that's just because I added debugging information. That's no good. Hmm. Let's see, how can I write this debugging information to a separate file? So, sim file should be in.
I remove SIM file, does that change things? So what is it now? One one seven five two. And if I do that. Hmm. So it's something else. So has D3I changed the actual code? Let's see what those optimizations are again, because inlining might actually be a problem. I don't know why I thought inlining would solve any problems regarding space. Uh, OH Enable repeat optimizations. Nah, I'm good. OS, favorite code size of execution. OA, what does OA do? Uh, okay. OS. And what's D3I? Maybe I can just... But does not permit inlining of functions. Ah. Well, I'm not that smart. I'm zero smart. So let's dump that. Dump that. Dump that. Option sim file and go back to to I don't know the gulag I guess the hell of waiting for things to compile which will eventually be over It's a proprietary kernel. This is savage. Worth kind of guys. What language is worth? Let's check the Wikipedia. Let's check the Googles. a bit obscure. Yeah, that's the compiler going. Still going. Mueller, uh, Euler, whatever, Algol, Pascal. Interesting.
I'd also be interested to read up on the V documentation for Open Watcons V. I haven't seen that variant of V listed before. Uh, I don't think it's even listed in Wikipedia. Timer. Okay, I want to know about that timer. Nope. Wrong one. TCP. Include. No, no, it would be in TCP. Timer. What is the timer doing? Timer handler. What's the point of that? Oh, is that do it in the busy loop? It uses a number of ticks to. Fourteen two nine seven. Now, why? Why? What did I do? That went up. What if I just remove debugging stuff? Uh, I don't want to lose my debugging information. But I don't know why it's trying to put it in the text section. It doesn't need to be like that. Vim is based on Stevie. That's interesting. So I really need to just start making backups of whatever compiles. Because this is not scientific. What's well, scientific now? I'm removing stuff, but it is it is slow.
Okay, let's see. Is this gonna work? That oh, did work. So debugging information. Are we getting a sim file? We're not. No. Why is that? Sim. Sim. File. Oh. Option. Option. Oh. I've been running my options wrong. Okay. That could be problematic. Option sim file, option map, option stack. So, so if I just do that, what's the option, option? Show me how you use multiple options. Is that what's happening here? Option. Let's just mess around with this for a little bit then. Simple map stack. Quiet. So does that help? Have any symbol symbol files? No, because I didn't do any debugging. But let's fix that. Let's just do delete bot dot obj and just load it up as D three. Single files here. Because I'm fairly sure. I don't want errors, maps, or objects. Okay, so maybe it was correct, and I just didn't have. It written maybe it was correct but the d3 thing just stops some optimizations or something like that okay let's stop and let's do that But, yeah, there's no symbol files. Hmm. Symbol file. Map file, 
process file sim t sim. What? Symbol file contains when the debug directive is used. The debug directive? Is there a debug directive for the linker? Some file equals bot dot sim. Let's just try that first. I'll just call it debug. That way it'll stand out. And is there a debug option I haven't enabled? I should. Debug directive. Oh. Using the debug directive. Oh no. This is a little confusing. But let's just scroll up. Because this might be what I'm missing. So, where do I put the directive? because I can understand that. Ah, oh, this is too big. Okay. I'll just remove the equals debug for now. Okay, um, hmm. I'll just remove quiet then. Oops, I deleted everything. Bot.sim, okay, so that gives me a symbol file. So if I just recompile them all with that symbol file, what also did I delete? Okay, what if I just comma my options? Map, stack, debug all, what other options I had? I had quiet, I had something else I think. Let me just check. What MTCP had. Option map. No, well, I guess that might have been it. Okay, let's delete that.
interactive error near debug. Oh, so it's not. That's right. Debug is not an option. Quiet. Dear God. So what does D3 actually do? And why...
OD level of optimization if P2 is specified. Okay then. So I want D1. Well, I'm not that smart actually, but okay. So what if I just do D1 and I just get rid of that. Oops, option map, stack, quiet, debug all. But let's also just check out what WASM has. This should be a good start at least. I just hold up real quick. I don't want stack checking. You know what? I'll just let it do that. an interesting name for a song I really like and will probably listen to for a while. Huh. I guess life be like that. Let's see, bot.exe. Okay, well, 
did that work? Oh, okay. So I spelled it wrong. So if I remove that and I set that to the small, will I actually be able to get it in a small memory model? Is that possible? This is just the boring, the boring part of life, waiting for things to compile.
Okay, so that did actually work. Bad creating buffers. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's just quickly grep for that. Okay, so let's just head back here. So we're definitely going to be using the compact model. Um, we're not using a separate sim thing. Okay, I think that... One more of that. Because I'm also like fixing my router at the moment. Oh, hang on a second. SP. So what have we learnt today? Uh, actually, let's just put... No, nah, we can leave it like that. Um, I don't know. Learn, we have MTCP kind of ready. Like it compiles and we can now modify things here. There's a lot to uh, strip down or use as a reference. It's probably best to just rewrite it, honestly. But I think that's about it. And the music's done, so thanks for joining me, and uh, au revoir. It's, uh, it's Italian for goodbye.